ship. All this power surging and throbbing, yet under control. Are you like that, Captain? USS Enterprise, NCC-1701, was a 23rd century Federation Constitution-class starship operated by Starfleet. It was also the first ship to bear the name Enterprise with this registry. Launched in 2245, the ship was commanded by Captain Robert April until 2050, when command of the ship was turned over to April's first officer, Christopher Pike. During the Klingon War, the Enterprise and its crew were intentionally left out of the fighting by Starfleet Command as they considered the Enterprise to be the best of Starfleet and wanted them to survive. At some point between 2254 and 2256, the Enterprise got a refit that radically changed its design and appearance for both the exterior and interior. One of the notable differences about the interior was the introduction of the orange colours in the ship. Following the end of the Klingon War in 2257, the Enterprise was tasked with investigating one of the series of unidentified signals detected throughout the galaxy. Unfortunately, the Enterprise suffered multiple catastrophic system failures, leading the Enterprise to be towed back to space dock at Earth and for Pike to be transferred to command of the USS Discovery to continue the mission of investigating the Red Bursts. After several months of repairs, the Enterprise would return to service with Captain Pike returned to command and taking part in the battle with Section 31's artificial intelligence, Control. After the battle against Control and Section 31 fleet, the Enterprise sustained heavy damage to its source section which prompted the ship to be repaired. Sometime by 2265, the Enterprise had another major refit, reverting its external appearance somewhat back to what it was from before the 2255 refit. Major differences include impulse engines and a larger bridge dome. Pike's command of the Enterprise ended around 2265 when Pike was promoted to fleet captain and command of the ship was turned over to Captain James T. Kirk. After sustaining damage from the galactic barrier, the Enterprise was again refit. Major changes include nacelles, bridge and impulse drive being swapped out and replaced. The interior was also slightly modified though extremely similar to the previous layout. In the course of its career, the Enterprise became the most celebrated ship of its time. It was later identified as the original Enterprise, or Kirk's ship. The Enterprise, designated the flagship of Starfleet, was refit and upgraded with the latest experimental technology from 2270 to 2273, allowing the ship to continue to serve in its prominent role for years to come. 40 years of service and discovery through upgrades and at least two refits to the Enterprise took part in numerous first contacts, military engagements and time travels. The vessel achieved its most lasting fame from a five-year mission of 2265 to 2270 under the command of Captain Kirk. The Enterprise was destroyed over the Genesis planet in 2285 when Kirk activated the ship's auto-destruct sequence to prevent the Enterprise from falling into the hands of the Klingons while on a mission to search for Spock. It was soon replaced by the USS Enterprise A. And there will of course be more on that ship in another video. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Also if you'd like to donate to my channel you can donate to my PayPal or consider becoming a channel patron. The links to which are both in the description below. Live long and prosper my truckies and until next time, here in the continuum.